remember watching Jalen and missing that last shot, and he gave everything to that fourth quarter, scored 17 points. You know, as his teammate, you've been through all of these different various things, but, you know, when you see a teammate go through that, what do you say to him knowing that he gave it his everything but just couldn't hit that last shot? No, man, you just encourage him, you know, um, definitely know that feeling, you know, so uh, just trying to be there for him, let him know that, you know, we riding with him. Um, he really helped us stay in that game, especially right there in the fourth. So, uh, you know, we're confident. Jalen, can you take through the, uh, the the last couple of shots you had? Were they the shots you were looking for, and what made it so difficult to, to sink them? Um, two shots that uh, I've I've made a lot of in my career, and um, just uh, just rush them. Plain and simple, just rushed it. Is that hard with you? I wonder any circumstances, but when you had to go and really came up with so many big shots in the fourth quarter, and you did to not see that fall. Yeah. Um, I say this all the time. My teammates and coaches uh, have a lot of trust in me, and uh, they've welcomed me with open arms. And um, and uh, that hurts, and I can't pull through for them. That hurts. Jacob, where, where do you go from here individually? Feel like you have like trust in yourself more. What, what, say again? Sorry. Where do you go from here individually? Um. Uh, just next game, focus on Detroit for me. That's that's all I'm thinking about. How were you physically um, coming into the game, and how did you feel playing on that Um. Uh, I just found the way to get on the court and I, I went through everything like I was expecting to play and um, yeah, I just went out there and did my best. When you had that one thing where you maybe got to the back, was that something different in close in the turn when the shot was blocked by Adams early? Uh, yeah, I think I stepped on a cameraman, but I mean, after every first time I sub out, I always walk into the back. I do it um, every single time I come out the first first sub. Were you 100% out there? <laughs> um, I mean, I just I just play as hard as I can, and, and that's all, that's all. No matter if I'm hundred percent or not, and it's just do what I do. That was twice where you guys have kind of been right there with with that. And twice I missed game winners. What? No, not, not necessarily. That's what that's what it is though. That's just, I'm just saying. But twice I missed game winners. Basically, what I was saying was you've been right there twice, and you know, just couldn't get over the hump against Jawa. What makes him just so so tough, so special? Yeah, for him to get that rebound after a shot is is pretty incredible. Um, he's a special player. Uh, they they have a special team over there, um, well coached. Uh, there's a hungry group, and so you gotta give them credit when credit is due. I mean, we knew it was gonna be a, a fight, and um, gotta find a way to win. This was the 20th game you guys played this year, so roughly a quarter of the season. How would you assess where, you, where the team is right now? Um, we are, um, we've shown, and uh, we have flashes of greatness in us, and then we've shown that um, we're just one play, one play away. We gotta just continue to get better, and. Um, we have a lot of room you know, to continue to get better, and we have a lot of room to catch our stride. So, I mean, we just got to keep fighting, just keep sticking together. And uh, did your right wrist bang up too? Uh, I mean, this is bumps and bruises. It's uh, all over the course of the season. And, um, but um, if I can walk, I can, I can play. You mentioned the job as a good special talent, but you guys seem like you did a pretty good job on the first half, maybe three quarters. What you guys did to him and, and what Ryan did seem like did a pretty good job on the first half. Yeah, um, to be able to um, play defense on him is a, is a task. And so uh, it, it's not just one guy, it's, it's all of us. You know, Quinn did a great job, guys on him did a great job. Um, he's able to do special things and he's able to put you know, numbers on the board. So, I mean, 
he's he's been special since he stepped foot in the league. So it's um it's pretty remarkable to see. Jim, more more generally, you're you're taking more bullet threes than you did. Obviously, very different role here than you had in Dallas. You're taking more bullet threes than you did previously. You were catching shoots. Um, historically, and this year, you're, you're you're more accurate on those catch and shoots. Is are, how do you feel about that distribution? Obviously, that's naturally going to change in the role that you're in. Is is there an effort to, to even that out at all, or do you just kind of feel like that's uh, the way you know it has to be in some way your role? Um, it's a great question. Very loaded question. <laughs> um. I just think that uh, it's just, it's how the defense has been playing, and um, I get to be able to adjust and knock that down. And um, you know, when I do uh, have catching suits, obviously I'll be ready. And uh, with the role I was in last year, um, you know, Luca was able to do a lot and get me. Uh, he gravitates a lot of attention, so I was ready to catch and shoot at all times. And so um, I think for me, I just got to be able to, to play how the defense is playing, and now just read that and uh, make decisions. Guys, almost five, six years, so right there. How frustrating is it to, to not be able to finish off some of these games here? Yeah, um, it's very frustrating. Uh, I think, uh, like I said before, it just it hurts when you know you you have an opportunity to um, you know put a win up on the board, and uh, you know your teammates and coaches have a lot of trust in you, and then you just don't pull through. So it, it hurts a lot, but. Um, and just try to continue to get better, man. That's just that's it. On those <clears throat> those final two shots, just put the ball in your hands and, and go find the best look for yourself first, and then if something else is open, you go to your team. Like, what's your what was the message coming into those? Uh, we had a set, uh, ran it, and make a decision and uh, be the playmaker, and um, that's that's just it. All right. Thanks.